Exactly. Let's um, let's just have a look at this woman from Nottingham. Now, Sam, uh, again, do you know uh, you, you know I, I've talked a lot about mental illnesses, right? Yeah. Talk, talk, you know, do, do like, to, and, I, and I say that there's all these developing and ongoing uh, forms of mental illness that we haven't diagnosed. It's quite interesting, isn't it? That um, there's one that I've noticed. It's like it's like when people want to stop a thing, they go and do something that will have no measurable effect on the thing but as long as other people see them doing it and applauding their efforts they'll continue to do it right so it's like uh, i don't know let's say in the village of port talbot our well ran dry and every day uh, because you've got it in your mind that if you woke up at 3 a.m and dropped a baked bean down the well shaft it would eventually bring the water back it won't it won't sam so don't do that. But you if you've been know got, nothing, but right. But if at three a.m. Uh, every morning you did it religiously, and all the villagers are out there getting up at three a.m. with you in a show chanting. of solidarity, chanting "Sam, bean, 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 bean," and you were doing it every morning, you'd feel great about yourself, and it would encourage you to do it more. Newsflash: If you're dropping baked beans down a, a well, you're mentally ill, aren't you? You're, <laughs> you're pretty you're, much, you're, yeah. Yeah, you're 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 fucked in the feed. Yeah, like, fucked. yeah, what is going in isn't being interpreted <laughs> correctly. Your feed you have is fucked. You have <laughs> You have probably got... do have kuru if you put a bean yeah. just down a well. To be fair, you have been eating the old brains. So, um, <laughs> this woman is basically doing that. She's 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 got a baked bean down the well, mate, and uh, it's in Nottingham. Right, and what she did, just watch. I'll show you the vid. Uh, we're going to play the vid, but basically, just to give you the gist, just to prepare you. Uh, apparently, there was a biker gang going down her street, and it's a residential area. But they're bikers, right? So they like to, you know, have a rev and get a bit faster than that. So, despite the fact that she is clearly not a law enforcement agent in any way, shape, or form, and it's just a fat, demented <laughs> woman. She goes out every day with a hairdryer and points the hairdryer at them, and she says this slows them down, even though on the video footage you can like, see them going, like, no one gives a fuck. Just watch this video, mate, and just tell me what, again, questions to remember, why is this news? Why do I know about this? Mentally ill woman points hairdryer at traffic, effectively, bong. is the story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> big bong, Tonight's coming up. Our news. You know, ISIS just attacked Iran in a bong. bong. Mentally ill woman points hairdryer at motorbike. Bong. bong. <laughs> you need a fucking bong to get through this shit. You can't believe this is real. Anyway, just watch this video, mate. Drop me a free two one when you're ready to go. Three, two, one, go. She's living in the when junkyard. When you've got cars and bikes going <laughs> meow, 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 all up and down the road, it had to I'm stop. I'm already tapping the fuck and, out. And children now are saved. What am I supposed to do with that? Oh yeah, the kids are real safe. Quite simply, oh, by picking up one of those <laughs> and going like that, I have never seen so many people's brake lights. I don't go even on. know if we're the same and species. Also, <laughs> Is that even a new like one it, at that point? That's tough. I live here. My friends live here. My friends' children live here. And if we can't be safe in our own streets, how the hell are we going to be safe in the world? <laughs> Right. So what's mental about that? I mean, there's a lot that's mental about yeah. that, isn't there? How right? long have and, got? Yeah. I mean, first of all, right, okay, uh, it says in the report, um, do, do you know what's mad, right? Can I just say this? I wasn't going to say this because I think it's it's a bit pathetic, isn't it? Like whenever there's a woman in a funny story and you go, oh, look how she looks. You, you know, what I mean? it's a bit childish. But <laughs> oh, can I just mate. say? <laughs> but... <laughs> But can I just say, hey, now you're uh, an all star. <laughs> yeah. Hey, now you're an all star. You've got a hairdryer. No, here it is. Right. Uh, I've got to find a bigger picture of it, though. But there's um, there's a particular character character in uh, Fallout. Um, this is it, this isn't one of them, but you'll get the gist 
from this image because it's, it's a nice size and it's in a good resolution. But, um, you know, I don't like the f- later Fallout games. Fallout 1, 2, and New Vegas are great. But I just want you to do a comparison because she has got a touch of the super mutants going on, hasn't she? Just straight up, mate. A grill and all that. Let's have a look, though. It's pretty close. Yeah. No, not a ghoul. Not a ghoul. A su- a super mutant, guys. Like, if you, if you, is there a way you can get her with her teeth? Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah. And just do a side by side because I, I just want to see how good it looks on my screen. Uh, I'm waiting because there's a slight delay. So you'll have to. Uh... Oh, mate, that's spot on, that is. You did a great job there, mate. You did the pause. <laughs> oh, no, you fucked it. You I, got fucked a, it. I got a good one. Oh, no, that is pretty really decent. Mate. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> she she out fucking control, isn't she? She is having a super mutant. So anyway, I don't I don't usually like to talk about that sort of stuff. It's juvenile, but she does look like a fucking super mutant. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> Master super mutant, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fair play. She's got rank. Uh, but here's what's mental, Sam. Here's what's mental, right? So let's just think about this. Woman uh, in Nottingham uh, points head fire at traffic all right she contacted the bbc that's what it says that's the opening line on the video let's just be uh, clear we did this, this yeah this well, lady isn't it. offering free blow uh, dries Sorry. jean brooks yeah uses her hair dryer as a pretend speed gun uh right and 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 it says she contacted the bbc uh, after it published the CCTV footage. So basically, what happened was the BBC uh, published some CCTV footage about some bikers driving recklessly. And this woman rang up the BBC and said, well, you know what I do? I point bloody air dryers. I'm mentally ill in the street. <laughs> yeah, I point air dryers at them and behave in a mentally ill fashion. I mean, so, and the BBC went, what, really? We'll send a team down right away. <laughs> Um, make... Just just as a question, you look like a super mutant by any chance. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, get them down there now. Yeah, unfortunately, we've only got the budget for Fallout-related stories at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> the, only way... <laughs> the only way we could conceivably cover this story would be if you were to look like a character from one of the games. Ah, bloody fuming me, fuming! Fuming! Yeah, but um, anyway, so so that that's madness number one. That the BBC sent down a a news team to interview her and do a make a video of her pointing a hair dry. Is is this is this where the license fee goes, guys? Really? <laughs> is this it? Because I got mentally ill people on my street. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't need you to. Know, Tell me Big that. Big world star hip hop for this kind of stuff. So, exactly, mate. World star all the way. Then, uh, on top of that, right, you do know, right, like, okay, let's say people are driving past, and the vast majority are going to go, there's that super mutant with the air dryer again. <laughs> well, <laughs> but I ain't it, got the it, level of required to 1v1 that I'm going to have to go around. It's, um, but, you know, it's distracting, isn't it? It's distracting. It's distracting. You know, first of all, they could think it's a gun, right? It is Nottingham, a.k.a. Shottingham, right? People could think it's a firearm. Second of all, you're driving along. You see her come out and... Open! And pointing the fucking hairdryer. At the, and you just... Oh, you you're just get locked. That, you get locked on a train of thought going, fucking hell, Bethesda. They fucked up. Why are the super mutants even there? They, they, they almost died out at the end of Fallout 2 when we were living in harmony. What, why have they just made orcs in the game? The fucking Bethesda! And you spin out and you crash into a fucking house and you kill everyone in the house. And it's all happened because of her. Because of the super mutant. Because of the super mutant. Not acceptable, <laughs> is it? So, somebody... so stop nuclear power now. <laughs> stop yeah. the super mutants from raiding. It's 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 crazy, isn't it? It's it's fucking crazy that no one has objected to this <laughs> for all these reasons. It's madness. So that was that. That's what's going. Media, media, media. <laughs>